Hello Tribe Forex Traders. This is April 14th, 2015. And um, you know, yesterday we had an interesting day. You can see that the market really just came up. It was flowing nicely downward as we expected and then had a really, really violent move up. I want to say explosive move to the upside. And um, so anyway, we ended up closing out our quattro. We had a quattro trade that opened up for us at 10925. We ended up closing out the second position right here at 106, about uh, 300 pips. Okay, so about 300 pips of profit. We had a maximum favorable excursion of 400 pips. So it did come back up and close us out here. Really explosive, not expected uh, move to the upside. Where are we at right now? So we're flat on the quattro. And by the way, we got into another quattro trade uh, down here. Right here at the bottom here. And it ended up closing us out for a loss there. Uh, but we ended up closing out for quite a bit of profit here on the quattro. Anyway, so where are we right now? So right now, guys, where we are is we're looking, we're in currently a, a, a quattro sell that hit its first take profit on the auto rev. So our auto rev hit its first take profit, which was nice. It was got in right here at the very peak. We, we call 1.0706, really right on, really right on where, where the market was. And now we're currently in an auto sell. Okay, we're in a sell here on the auto rev. Uh, right here, as you can see. And uh, we're at break even. We hit our first take profit. We're looking for our second position to continue to run. All right, so that's what's going on on the auto rev. Um, auto quattro is currently flat in the market. What are we looking for if we get another shot at it with the auto rev? We're going to look for 1.0715. All right, so you can set your line to 1.0715. Make sure that it is set to auto sell. And um, I don't know why that's there. Get rid of that. And um, so that's what we have on the euro dollar. So 1.0715 sell on the euro dollar or a quattro. If the quattro takes, then we'll take the quattro, of course. Dollar Swiss, we're going to look for 96.50. So it's going to have to come down quite a bit. But there's a lot of confluence here at this 96.50 area. And so if price comes down at 0 0.9650, we're going to take a buy off the pod one strong, 61.8 fib, and then 23.6. Really great area to look for. Um, hopefully it won't get down there. Price will continue to move up. But if it doesn't, we're right now at the 38.2 fib area of a previous move down. So, you know, if it does, as long as it doesn't go from there, we should see price continue to move up. If not, we'll get in at 0 0.9650. So put your line at 0 0.9650. The only other call that I have is on the pound dollar. Actually, I've got two more calls. One on the pound dollar, and you can see here that this point that I've got kind of on my radar is 1.4850. Why did I choose 1.4850? Well, we chose um, 1.4850 because we've got so much confluence right here, up here at, at uh, 23.6 fib, um, a trend line right up there. Just a lot of things going on up there. So if price ever does break this area, then we're going to call 1.4850. Right now we have a triple threat formation that's formed on this pound dollar, though. It looks like it wants to move down. So 28 pips of risk could go down for you know easily 30 pips or continue to move down for hundreds of pips, which would be ideal for us all. Okay, what is next? Dollar CAD. So the dollar CAD... Um, you can see I've got a lot drawn on my chart here. We've, we have an area of support. Price has basically come back down to this area again. And price gets down to 1.2415, which is right where this Bollinger is and where, where this trend line is in that vicinity and also where this uh, area of support and resistance is. Then we will get a very nice buy um, support area. We'll get a buy opportunity there at 1.2450. So you can put a line at 1.2450 and look for a buy on the dollar cat. So if I can recap, Euro dollar, we're currently in a trade that's up. Um, we're gonna look for a sell at 1.0715. We're gonna also look for a quattro sell if it provides itself, uh, if we get a sell on the quattro. 
Dollar Swiss, we're going to look for a buy at 0 0.9650. Pound Dollar, we're going to look for a sell at 1.4850. And Dollar CAD, we're going to look for a buy at 1.2415. Those are our trades for the trading session April 15th, 2015. Guys, as far as fundamentals are concerned, we're still looking for dollar strength, euro weakness, and that's how we're going to be playing the rest of these trades until indicated otherwise. All the best. Happy trading. Bye-bye.